You are listening to part 1A of the podcast series, Thinking for a Change. When you change your thinking, you change your beliefs. You see, beliefs are nothing more than a byproduct of what you have thought long enough about that you have bought into. Always remember that. So what you believe is something that has been previously continual thoughts that formed themselves to one day it became a belief or it became a conviction. In the book, Thinking for a Change, I open the book with the five thoughts that are in your notes right here. Because I believe these five thoughts absolutely with all of my heart. The first thought is this one. Everything begins with a thought. It's where it all starts. The thought is the originator of anything that happens to us. That's why Emerson said, life consists of what a man is thinking about all day. The second thought about thinking is this one. What we think determines who we are. And who we are determines what we do. That's a fact. That's why John Locke said, the actions of men are the best interpreters of their thoughts. The process is very simple. Thinking, becoming, doing. That's always the process. Thinking, becoming, doing. The third thought that I want to talk to you about in thinking or share with you this day is this. Our thoughts determine our destiny. And our destiny determines our legacy. That's why James Allen would say, you are today where your thoughts have brought you and you will be tomorrow where your thoughts take you. Your thoughts are like a taxi. You get in and it takes you to where you want to go. Number four. People who go to the top think differently than others. William Arthur Ward said, Nothing limits achievement like small thinking. Nothing expands possibilities like unleashed thinking. And there are basically two kinds of people in the world. Those who think in limitations or in smallness and those who think in creativity and unleash great thoughts within themselves. When I was going to write the book, Thinking for a Change, I sat down with the Time Warner people, as you always do when you get the idea or the concept, and you sit around a table and you bounce it around for a while. And usually I'll give them three to five pages of form of how the book is going to be conceived and the concept, the thesis, that whole process. And basically all we're doing at that time is forming it and kind of getting started the best way we can by getting other people's ideas. And when I wanted to write the book in the initial time, I didn't think of the title Thinking for a Change. In fact, that was one of the Time Warner people came up with. I wanted to call the book Thinking Your Way to the Top. Because what I have done is I've identified that there are certain types of thinking that people that go to the top think so differently than people who never get to the top. And by the way, that's what we want. We want to get to the top. And this isn't part of the lesson, but I just want to stop here for a moment and just say, you really want to get to the top. You really want to, you really want to get to the top. Because I can tell you right now, it's not crowded up there. <laughs> it really is. It's a wonderful place to be. You've got room to stretch. You can run a little bit. You can buy a ranch at the top. At the bottom, it's really crowded. I'm telling you, it is elmo to elmo at the bottom. Everybody's at the bottom. I mean, the mass. But the higher you go, it just gets less crowded. You get on top, and there's just a lot of room. And people that go to the top, they think differently. Because your thinking is the seed of what you're going to become and what you're going to do. And so all change, all I'm saying here is all change begins with thinking. If you change your thinking, you'll change your beliefs. If you don't change your thinking, you won't change your beliefs. So I I want to believe something different. It starts there. Now, one more thought about thinking. And that is we can change the way we think. Paul said it better than anybody. What did he say? He said, whatsoever things are true, noble, just, pure, lovely, or good report, if there's any virtue, if there's anything praiseworthy, he said, think on these things. Now, that verse is a great verse to me because what basically it says, you can think on what you want to think on. If you want to think on things of pure, lovely, wonderful, virtue of all good report, he said, you can think on those things. He said, basically, you choose what you think upon. The first book I ever wrote, I wrote back in 1979, and I called the book, Think on These Things. 
And it came right out of this verse because I truly believe that if you think on the right things, you'll be successful. If you think on the wrong things, you won't be successful. And you can go to the success or the unsuccessfulness of a person. You can literally trace it back to how they think. 